in a peaceful manner, the protesters took to the streets, waving banners with messages that requested the global leaders to urgently form an ABA referendum commission and fix the date for the proposed referendum. I am here because of ABA referendum. As citizens of South Sudan, we believe ABA belongs to South Sudan. I am expecting from the government of Sudan to keep the time for referendum. As young people, we are ready to go up to Abiei using our motorcycles. Abiei belongs to South Sudan. The demonstrators want an Abiei referendum commission to be urgently formed by the African Union with its chairperson directly nominated by the African body. They also demanded an immediate withdrawal of Sudan armed forces from some parts of Abiei. There will be uh, sideline meetings of uh, the African Union Security Council uh, with uh, the UN Security Council. We ask them to endorse uh, the African Union proposal, uh, which was uh, proposed by uh, former president of uh, Sabo Mbiki, to be laid as uh, the final status and the final solution for the issue of a gay referendum in the coming uh, UN. General Assembly or the coming UN summit. The referendum on the oil rich Abia area was originally scheduled for 2011. Both Sudan and its southern neighbor failed to agree on who is eligible to vote. While Khartoum demands the participation of the Arab Messeria, South Sudan says only the Dinka Ngok tribal groups from their nine chiefdoms should participate in the much anticipated poll. The demonstrators handed a signed petition to the U.S. Embassy, the European Union, the African Union, and the United Nations Mission in South Sudan. The Khartoum government has insisted that the vote should be delayed until legislative and administrative institutions are established. Noel Makugu, CCTV.